what really happens when an user clicks submit button in Pega? So this is one of the questions that recently came up in an interview. At the first glance, it looks simple. But internally, a lot of things are happening in the background. When an user clicks submit in Pega, the system does not immediately move to the next screen. First, Pega starts processing the request internally. Every UI action in Pega, you know, it is tied up to multiple routes before executing anything. Pega must decide which rule should run first. The very first and most important thing that happens is rule resolution. Pega strictly evaluates which rule should be executing, from which class, maybe which version, which circumstancing, which specialization should be picking up. If a wrong rule is picked, the application may behave incorrectly even though the UI looks fine. Once the rule resolution is completed, the flow logic starts executing. So if the flow contains another assignment shape, so the current assignment should be closed and the new assignment should be created and opened. And in this process, UI and harness logic comes into picture. That is the current harness should be skipped off and launched into the next harness. And few sections will be hidden and few will be displayed, few buttons will not be there, few buttons will be there. From user point of view, the UI appearing and disappearing looks like a magic. But developers know this is like completely driven with some visibility logics. After UI and flow logic is done, Pega needs to prepare data for its persistence. So this is where data pages play a major role now. So the data page here may collect data from UI values, database tables, reports, services, external integrations, depending upon the design. And sometimes activities might be like coming into picture in place of data pages. So along with activities, validations must be triggered. At the same time, case locking ensures that only one person modifies the case during his transaction. In parallel, Pega also updates enterprise tracking information like SLA rules. Audit history will be recorded in the background. So assignment and case status changes are logged now. And finally, all these changes are to be committed to database in a single transaction. If something fails at this stage, the entire transaction is rolled back. So in Pega, one click is never just one click. If you understand this flow clearly, you are already thinking like a senior Pega developer. Thank you.